Speaking of uh, big uh, U.S. companies, mm. oh, Intel. I know. Oh, Intel. <laughs> well, sad and it's kind of self-inflicted, is it not? Yeah. Well, it, for years, right? For in years, fact, for decades, for, for decades. Lar- if lar- really candid. Largely self-inflicted, I would say. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ben uh, Thompson's written a lot about this in Stratechery. Uh, Intel was the original integrated chip company where they would design and build their own chips, mm-hmm. which at the time worked really well. But then along comes companies like Arm, yep. uh, NVIDIA, TSMC. Mm-hmm. Arm and NVIDIA design the chips. They don't make them. TSMC makes them. And because so much money has been pumped into TSMC, mostly cheaply, I have to say by Apple, their technology is leapfrogged Intel's technology. And so they're better at making chips than Intel. And ARM and, and NVIDIA are better at designing chips than Intel. It kind of leaves Intel with... Uh, and, and AMD, uh, Intel's traditional rival years ago, yeah, stopped yeah. stop making its own chips and uh, has been on a roll recently. Right. I mean... Right. I'm sorry that Pat Gelsinger, the CEO, didn't get more time because he was trying to undo <clears throat> a huge number of mistakes made before he got there. And um, this is not the kind of thing you, you can fix mm-hmm. in a year or two or, th- or three years. And um, I think he did have a, a, a pretty smart vision of, of what to do, but it was not something he could implement in the time that the board gave him.